Okay, uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial on the half adder. We're going to just go briefly through the basic components of a half adder. Uh, I'm then going to make a separate uh, video tutorial for um, the full adder and how we then combine that with multiple bits. So uh, we've got Logisim here, we've got a, a nice new fresh canvas uh, ready to go. Uh, so a half adder is really doing kind of the core job of a single column of ad addition. So when I say column, I mean adding two bits together. You know, so imagine you've got a you know a binary bit string and you're adding it to another binary bit string. Uh, you'd obviously line them up in terms of columns, just like you do, you know, normal addition in decimal and base ten, uh, and then you add the columns up. And obviously, there's carry bits that or carry numbers that go to the next columns. Similarly, it happens in in the case of binary addition. Uh, a half adder is really only handling the single column, uh, and then we talk about later how we then combine that with um, uh, the carry bits from the previous half adder to make a full adder, and then. Uh, go across the different bit columns. So, okay, for a single uh, uh, addition of two bits, we obviously need those two bits, so we'll bring them in. Uh, so here's one, and here's another. Okay, so we'll just call this, uh, we'll give them a name. Uh, this is in one, and this is in two. Um, or maybe, uh, yeah, actually we'll just call them that. Maybe there's better names, but for now, that'll do. Okay, and I'll just put them close. So uh, it's really simple. A half adder has to do two things, right? It has to determine what the sum of the two bits is for that column. So what's the output in terms of what would you write in that column as a, as a result of the addition of the two bits? And then it has to determine what is it carrying to the next adder, if there is a next adder. And that's obviously effectively you know, carrying to the next column. So for that, we need uh, two gates to deal with that, uh, two different types of gates that will give us the correct properties. Uh, and so really, um, you know, you can just obviously remem remember what these are and then forever recall them. Uh, but basically, it's not too hard to work out what the, um, the gates should be by simply thinking of the properties. So if we're thinking of adding these two bits together, then clearly 0 plus 0 would result in a sum of 0, right? However, if either of them is 1, then the sum would obviously be 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. The, th the third case is if they're both 1. In that case, uh, just like you know, if you had a, you know, 5 plus 5 in decimal, well, that would equal 10, right? And the reason that that happens to be 10 is that you carry across to the next column because 5 plus 5 results in a number that can't fit in the first column. It's too big, so it goes to the second column. Equally so, in binary, 1 plus 1 is well 2, which is really 1, 0 in binary, which means that there's a carry bit that has to be used. So this, that would be the case where we have to set the carry bit. So let's just get our two outputs that we need to see. So uh, we go down here, we select LED. I'm just going to put them over here. There's one. Uh, I think if I click again, no, it won't let me. Okay, I'll do this. There's number 2. So we'll call this one the sum. And we'll call the other one the carry out. Okay, maybe just see out actually, just to be a bit more brief. Uh, see out. No, it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, let me just tidy that up a little bit. Okay, so the question is what gates go here to create what we need out here? So the first for the sum. Thinking of those properties, we want it to result in a 1 when either of these is 1, but not both. And obviously, if neither of them are 1, then equally we don't want it to be on here either. So that is the perfect case for an XOR gate, because the XOR gate only outputs a 1 if uh, it has only one of its inputs on. Now, we'll set the uh, number of inputs to the correct value, which is 2. Okay. And uh, let me just bring this up slightly and we'll connect these guys up like that. And we produce the output there. Uh, remember that little thing there, it's a bit dodgy. Here we go. Okay, so now, obviously if neither of them is on, the sum is zero. So zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one and 
other one as well, one. Now, if they're both on, what we need, of course, is that to be zero because that means we're carrying to the next one and that would be set to zero. <coughs> and so that's what we need to do next. So obviously, this is the only case where we carry. And so hopefully it's not too difficult to see what gate we need to determine when this comes on. If they're both on, then yes, the carry out is on. If one of them is off or both of them is off, then that should be off as well. So that obviously lends itself to the AND gate. So let's bring that in. Uh, we'll set the number of inputs to two. Now, uh, we haven't, we might have done this in lectures, but uh, to, to connect up wires to other sort of existing wires, you just have to click on the wire and drag it down and then sort of bring it in, be nice and neat if you can. Uh, so we've connected up the two inputs. So now the two inputs are going into this gate and into this gate. Uh, now I will bring this up just a bit to line it up with the output of the gate. There we go. And that's there. So let's test it. If they're both inputs are zero, then obviously the sum is zero and there's nothing to carry. If either of them is on, the sum comes on, but there's no carry because one plus zero is simply one and that's what we see. Now, final case, if they're both on, then the sum turns off and the carry is turned on. And that's the bit that would go to the next um, bit column uh, if we were doing multiple adders. Okay, so this is what we call the half adder, okay? Um, half adder, it simply, now it, we always start, if we're designing an adder, the first, two col the first column of bits will always be dealt with with a half adder, but then every column thereafter will be dealt with with a full adder. Uh, and that's what we'll talk about in the next tutorial. Uh, so um, hopefully that's made sense.